Ever since I started this channel, people have been asking me one specific thing over and over again. I think it's time for me to show you guys how I grow bonsai indoors successfully and how we actually make a bonsai indoor growing system. Welcome to another episode of Bonsai Talk. The reason why both me and Eric have fans in our systems is because we understood early on that we need to have circulating air. We need to have something that actually replicates the wind, just like we are replicating the sunshine. That's why we used computer fans, because they are quiet, small and affordable.
So where do we start from here? Well, you need a really good light source if you're gonna grow bonsai indoors. If you can't use the sun, you need something that's closer to 100,000 lux. And I will explain the definition of lux in technical terms later. But first, let's take a look at some of the possibilities and some of the artificial lights that you can use for growing bonsai indoors. Let's start to talk about LED. LED lights are a shortening for the words light emitting diode. What's good about LED is that they are very efficient when it comes to light. So instead of radiating a lot of unnecessary heat, they are actually giving you just light. And that is really good. And, and another very good thing about LED is that they will not break easily. They will actually live and hold for a very long time. The bad things on the other hand with LED is that they are very expensive to manufacture and to distribute. And they are very sensitive to temperature changes. And they are also made up of small units. So that means that you have to have a lot of small units to actually get good light from one source. They have a very narrow field with light intensity that they will shed light from. So one of the best things about fluorescent lights is that they are somewhat inexpensive but still giving a lot of light intensity. One of the not so good things about them is that they will demand a lot of power, a lot of energy to be powered and they will radiate heat. Another bad thing is that they break easily. They are made out of glass so you have to be careful. The last light source is incandescent light. And incandescent light is still a light source, but it's not good enough for making photosynthesis to a living plant. So you should avoid that. Most likely an ordinary bulb that you have inside your house already will not be enough for the bonsai to thrive and actually get the right amount of light intensity to produce healthy and good sustainable levels of photosynthesis. If you take a bright sunny day without any clouds, the sun will push about 80,000 to 100,000 lux a whole day. If we can replicate that with our artificial light source, we have a really good growth progression going. So that's what we want. So lux is the most important number when building a bonsai indoor growing system. Here are some good stuff to know about lights. What is how much power the light source consumes? It's not how bright the lights are. Kelvin is the color of the temperature, the color of the light. Lumen is the amount of light radiated. Lux is the intensity of the light passing through. Candela is the intensity of the light source. Both of these systems use timers. I have digital and Eric has analog. It doesn't really matter what kind of a timer you have as long as it works and does its job. It's a really good way to make sure that the lights go off as they should in the morning and that they run all day and then will be turned off in the evening. And the same thing goes for the fans. <laughs> 